Haven't done a gym update in a minute. So here we are. I haven't actually been to the gym in a while. This is the entrance. We knocked down all the blinds. We're building out the front desk. That back wall is looking amazing. We still got some stuff to do over here because there is still an ugly mural on the wall. I don't know, maybe we'll leave that. It makes me think of like Italy, some far off place. I'm going to be high off of paint fumes though, that is for sure. Um, this will be like supplement area. We'll have that the refrigerator with RTDs and waters. This will probably be a little TV lounge. We'll have a bunch of merch over here, t-shirts, t-shirts, Told Your Nation, Gymshark, little supply room. This, we're thinking this is either gonna be a barber shop, oh, a room for personal trainers. By the way, if you guys want a personal trainer at the gym, I'm gonna leave an email on this that you guys can email. So either a barber shop or a room for personal trainers to meet with their clients or like a physical therapist, massage area, bathrooms. Oh, those need some work, don't they? Bathroom number two. Bathroom number two also needs some work. I would turn on a light, but. And then, oh, the wall is painted. We got flooring rolled up in the back back there. We got a new garage door coming next week. It'll be see-through, so it'll be clear glass. The whole garage door will be, and that's a big freaking garage door. We'll put the 30 yards of turf, and then this wall and that wall up above there. We're gonna have mirrors all the way here. Put that up there, and then this. We need, we need somebody who knows how to either wrap big murals, and then maybe an awesome artwork here. So big mural there, artwork, big mural there. This is a hundred foot wall, and it is at least 25, 20, 24, 25 feet high. Oh, there we go. So the goal tonight, get a little arm session. Oh, I see what you're talking about with the tape though. So the goal tonight, hit a little arm session in the gym. Um, definitely, definitely moving along here. Once we get that turf, we have the installers put the turf, the flooring, the the flooring is going to be thicker here because we're going to have power racks. All the machines and dumbbells are going to be down there. This will be a little entryway. Um, hoping to get all of this done by the end of October. Guys, check out that view. That is pretty freaking sweet. Well, on film it's not that great. But it's kind of beautiful right now. All those red rock back there. We're going to get, we're going to get things, get tires. We get pretty nasty out here. The gym, it's coming together. Fitness culture, get some. Yes, sir. Yo, when you guys curl 80s, you get a nickname. Until then, no nicknames. And you can wear vans on arm day. You couldn't have picked a better wall. That wall's awful, I know. The blues match. Yeah, they off me. Oh, matches the fat groups. Saturday night. This is why 
this is when having your own gym is gonna come in handy. When all these other gyms are closed in town, in town, we're freaking, what? What? You going up? Oh, yeah. Love it though. Like they say, bro, iron sharpens iron. Every day we're grinding and hustling and grinding some more. This is pretty much proving why or how it's harder or that it is harder with fat grips. Like if I roll and I'm doing hammer curls with 80, it's gonna be really, it's gonna be heavy for me. A little bit of a swing. Let's say I throw some fat grips on. We make that circumference of the bar wider. Oh, you're gonna struggle to pick those up. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no way am I doing that. So I guess what it's doing is that, you know, you'll see thick bars in the gym all the time. Having a thicker diameter on everything, you're just having to stabilize, or really your grip strength's going through the roof, and then you're activating more bicep by doing that. So, check your ego when you use your fat grips. Later, Jake. So, I was not planning on coming and hitting arms tonight. I was coming to get my camera, which didn't have a mic on it, which is why I'm filming on my phone if the quality's bad, I'm sorry. I just came here to get my camera from Jake, and I was like, yo, you can't leave your bro hanging on an arm night. I was supposed to take Courtney on a date, though. So, better get home. She's been texting me, asking if we're still going, but how do you say, Courtney, you know, if, I'm if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but gun show your guns matter you probably wouldn't want to date me if I didn't have at least 18 inch arms right right I'm coming home right now please don't beat me back on the nice camera I'm a little bit worried Courtney she spent just an amazing she spent all day creating like this gorgeous house for us and I'm late for date night tonight Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, babe. Yeah. What's a joke? Squash and get corn squash. Oh. Are you mad at me? Hi. No, of course not. You ready to eat? This is date night. This is healthy date night. This date is... night. So this is what's going down. It's just well, it's not really date night when we got people in our basement that live there. What do you think? It's, I know. It's fine. We love them, but we do. You're looking nice. What do you got on here? Uggs. BPI top, Gymshark pants. What you got going on over here for So we have that? some like slow roasted cooked veggies. We have this like butternut squash homemade soup. See that. With um, bone broth as the base. So it's really like high in protein actually. And then babe's got over here. We have a minute left on this. Um, I'm gonna shred up a bunch of chicken. This is a pressure chicken. cooker. Pressure cooker. Who got that for you? Babes did. I yeah. begged him, but I'm making him all the food in the world with it. <laughs> oh look, it's done. And then you, what you do? Let's check it out. Oh, oh what? <laughs> Has it ever done that? You just got. Yo, mad. you about to get your face burnt off right mad. there. So you open it like this, yeah. and then the pressure comes Whoa, out. Let's but see. when you let it slow release, oh, babe doesn't like me touching her pressure cooker. When you let cooker. it slow release, it's better. It's my pressure cooker. Whatever, because it stays warmer. And then over here, we're gonna have like a little spinach salad with cilantro and some a seven whole grain. A little bit of rice in there. I dig it. And then this is for dessert. This is the homemade banana bread and muffins. Look at this on my face. Sorry. Look at that on my face. Yo, one thing, you know me and my counters. I like my counters clear. You do. You like your counters full of stuff. Stop. I know it's bad. I got that. That bum's looking great in those Gymshark leggings, by the way. Thanks, Bill. Can we see it yet? Well, no. I'm like I can't. a kid in a candy store. Let me see the it. chicken. Bring me the beef, Ma. We want it. We can't. The meatloaf, Ma. Sure. What? We can't open it until it's... Until the pressure is done? Oh, because it sealed the pot on top? Now we can't watch, ready? Girl, my girl goes, my girl's good. I don't see you guys thought like... Do you hear that sound? Yeah, that means it's done? Okay, let's see it. Let's check it out. Open that up. It's like... Oh, man, that's all yeah, steamy. It's really Ooh. Hot. That looks good. That's juicy. Oh, yes. That's so juicy. Juicy as can get. <laughs> Shredded chicken. Shredded. Look at that. Looks this is really how you guys good. do it. It's in the pressure cooker, did yeah, it? Yeah, only in, it takes 15 minutes. That's all all you do is press um, poultry right here, boom, and then it puts it to a high pressure on normal, and then it you're, just You're cooks. selling me on these pressure cooker things. I know. It's amazing. That looks good. So we got that. 
You got what your, you doing with this over here? You got your salad with a little bit of cilantro, and I'm gonna put your rice in, my secret dressing. Cilantro or spinach? There's spinach and a little bit of cilantro in there. Get up out of here. You know why I take care of And then this food. is pretty much Courtney's bowl here. Don't well, that's my bowl personally, jicama. but that's her jicama. That's her secret weapon. Courtney eats this. That's the only thing Courtney eats. She's on a jicama diet. You guys have heard of like banana diets before and like sweet potato diets. Courtney's on a jicama diet, which is just pretty much a Mexican root. <laughs> That's a Mexican turn up. A turn up. Turn up. That's what we're doing up for. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We're getting turned up. On a Saturday, a we make secret dressings. Brought to you guys by Nando's. Who gave this to you? Someone at the Olympia. I love you. Whoever gave it to me. Wasn't it the people that gave us the Bibles? Too? No. Oh no. Not them. Shout out to just people giving Courtney stuff at the Olympia. So a little bit of mustard. Okay, you guys can use this is a, a sweet honey mustard or Dijon or yellow mustard, whatever floats your boat. Show us. My so this is Up just front. okay. This is my secret weapon: coconut aminos. It tastes like a teriyaki. It, it doesn't taste like coconut. So here's about the ratio. Boom, and then we're gonna add a little heat because Steven loves just a little bit. I like it a little spicy. You know what I'm spice. saying? Spice. I like my my little dressings like you like my women. Spicy. Oh yes. Then we <laughs> stir it together. And if you want to make it, so it's almost it looks like a balsamic, and it's like. Little teriyaki heat, spice. Sweet, 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 and, sweet, sweet and heat. spicy. You want to take take a little? Do you want to try it? We'll try. We'll sit. Little. What is it missing? I dig it. You no, dig? It's, I just don't like too much. I don't like. I like to taste my chicken still. So I, is this fine? Um yeah. So let's go. Babe, we're gonna put rice in here. That's good. That's all I need. That's all good. Alright, so that's what he so wants. So a little bit of rice. We, what do we got? We just got the rice packets. We're not doing any... We ain't fancy up in here. We have the seven whole just grain certified organic. People always get mad at me for cutting off my girlfriend. And I do cut her off quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I do. And I just, how much rice do you want? This? But I Baby. think this is... This might, this, this might go along with all girls. This much rice. <laughs> yes, I will. What, what are we doing? That much rice is great. It's about, see, we're just eyeballing stuff. That's okay, about 25 yeah. grams carbs. Perfect. Wait, was there half in there already? Or was there, no, was it full? It's just full. Okay. No, yeah, no, that's I great. I do you cut off her quite a bit, yeah, like I just like did there. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but Courtney gets, I think you love getting off on a tangent. Do you? Or is that right? No, rude? I just try to help people and inform people. You are so freaking cute. <laughs> Guys, make this for a girl and she'll be super be impressed. Top. Courtney till this day. Like, talk about all the awesome times I've made you dinner. None, actually. You guys want to know that? Steve would tell me, back in the day, babe, you don't even know I used to cook. I'm like, really? Yo, I used to cook all the time, but it wasn't a stress relief for me. I asked Courtney the other day, I'm like, for me, how I wind down is like, I watch movies, Netflix, NFL games. I'll play like the occasional sports, like Madden or whatnot. Haven't done that in a while. Courtney, what does Courtney do for a stress relief? I love to cook. So I just figured, yo, me taking over cooking is like taking her stress relief away from her. That's oh, just no rude. Oh, check out that bicep pump. Maybe Cal, you want to leave that in there? Goodness. Cheers. Date, Date night. Jinx, you owe me a I'm going to take off my hat because in my house growing up, you didn't wear hats at the dance table. Give me a kiss. Hope you enjoy. Oh, babe, I thought you were gonna get mad at me for being late at date night. No, of course I'm not mad. You guys should subscribe to Courtney's channel, especially if you have any gut health issues. Gut health issues. I just always have to watch what to eat. It's pretty annoying, but. Are you dipping? You want to try? Oh well, this is where this is where the night takes off. You know, <laughs> usually there's one important tipping point in your night where it's like, oh, this is gonna get a, this is gonna get wild tonight. You know that's gonna happen when you bust out the sprouted crackers <laughs> and you dip them in your bone broth butternut squash soup. Come on. What if I didn't know how to cook? What if you were just like one of those club girls? Yeah. Like, hey, you can meet me at the club tonight. I'll get you a bottle. I'd be an alcoholic. But instead, I love my cooking. I'm eating sprouted crackers what time is it? at 8.35 oh, on Saturday night. Oh, we missed dinner by an hour and a half. We're trying to eat dinner earlier because we don't like going to bed with full stomachs, right? Yeah, but since it's since it's Saturday, we might stay up till midnight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if you 
you guys are like us, don't think you're lame. You're not. Hey, I'm talking with my mouth full. That's super classy. Don't think you guys are lame. You just have priorities. And your priorities probably don't include getting drunk and wasted. Now, there's a time and a place for everything. And since we've been traveling so much, it's kind of nice to have a home cooked meal mm -hmm. and stay in. So after this, we're gonna Netflix and chill. Yep, we are. And by chill, I mean have, have dessert. Lots of cake. <laughs> Lots of cake? Have cake. My like cake is in like. <laughs> what does cake like, mean? You know the song like Nicki Minaj sings? Like cake, 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 cake. Well, that's not Nicki Minaj. Who sings that song, guys? It's a rap song. Cake meaning cake, like. Cake, like is cake like sex? booty. Oh. Those rappers these days, they're real wild. <laughs> <laughs> now, if she does the cooking, I'm impressed. It doesn't always happen, but I try to help out with the cleaning. You're doing amazing. Thanks, babe. I'm actually babe. really impressed about, with this. You're actually really impressed. Uh -huh. I don't know if my if it's good if your girlfriend's really impressed that you're cleaning, but I actually like cleaning. It makes me calm.